sort of narrowed it down to, I think, a group of monsters that look like they could live together. Nice. You know, as opposed to just, you know, an alien over here right. and, a, and a snail over here and a spaceman over here. You know what I mean? Wetmore Forest is is kind of what we named it, and we're here on Wetmore, and 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 it's sort of uh, Washington style, sort of live in the rain for uh, uh, Pacific rainforest, mm -hmm. and we're all just lovers of sort of the monsters, and you know whether it's the animation out there and the Cartoon Network or or whatever you you name it, monsters in general are fun to play with that whole concept. So we just started kind of creating these sort of northwesterny feeling creatures that could live out in some rainforest somewhere here nearby, and and we kind of we released a handful of six to yeah. start with, I think, and with, with just the idea of kind of adding to our huge growing line of pops, and we knew we, it might not be a giant audience, right. but it might be some appreciative people who appreciate the same kind of, you know, monster kind of yeah. world that we're into, uh, and they really took off. They were really a huge thing, and we started doing some pluses. We're building our plus division here, and and kind of decided it's almost at the last minute to add the Wetmore Forest part to our really? to our headquarters downstairs. Yeah. Now it's one of our best performing parts of the, the the headquarters, and so we're kind of deep into widening our story. And like a lot of things, Funko does. They weren't. We didn't expect it this way. It wasn't the grand scheme that yeah. we were going to create a giant world and a whole storyline. But we're sort of in the middle of developing that and building out new characters and and building out their world and the whole sort of everything that goes with that. So that's been a fun process of just kind of trying to build this this fantasy world around uh, what developed as as just a fun idea and a fun take on just playing with the monster thing. So now that it's a success and you can kind of think about it in the business model that you do with your license pieces, what's the kind of rollout thoughts on a new series a year, several series a year? What's with where are you going with it? Yeah, I, I imagine it'll be at least a new series a year, cool. if not if not more. We're we're going to introduce some some villain characters that we have sort of in development oh, cool. that are that are coming. Nice. Uh, sort of working these out and, and some of the wise sages that go with them. Nice. And uh, so, and kind of flushing out the world, we took a trip into the, the rainforest with oh, a bunch fun. of artists and, and spent some time out there kind of spent penning out the story and, and coming up with their sort of the atmospheres and the surroundings and the habitats they live in. And uh, so, yeah, and we're hoping to, you know, we're kind of in development of an animation for it and, oh, and taking this to another step, what, what form that takes, yeah. what, where that'll be, how that'll be seen, we don't know yet, but that's still all in the early inception of it. But Cool. Yeah. So with you having them part of your HQ downstairs, uh, will there always be a contingent where you need to come here to be able to get some part oh, of that special uh, with, with the line? That. Yeah. Always yeah, that. Nice. There's always the extra <laughs> nice. exclusive uh, properties and things Make that you've got. Make the pilgrimage, gotta, my friend. You have to come to get it. <laughs>